non-violent. And we continue to preach non-violence. I am not a criminal. I am a presidential candidate. Nothing will stop him. We must get our freedom or we shall die trying. Fighting for freedom. Hi, Jeff. Thank you for having us. Oh, my pleasure. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Bobby Moses. You know, just it's such a thrill to meet both of you. Thank you for joining me this morning for your new documentary. Thank you for having us, Jeff. Well, Bobby, did you feel you had no choice but to run for president of Uganda? Realistically, yes. I had no choice but to challenge uh, General Museveni. You know, first I had to represent my generation, but again, there was no choice, you know. And Moses, how did you approach? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just, yes, go ahead. I'll just add to what Bobby just said. At some point in the campaign, uh, he said, I think I should tell, I mean, jokingly, he said, I think I should tell people that I was just you know, joking, and <laughs> the people in, in the meeting were like, no, we would drag you to the election. So, yeah, he had no choice. <laughs> and Bobby, uh, well, first of all, Moses, how did you approach Bobby for this documentary? Uh, you were a fan of his music first, weren't you? Yes, uh, you know, growing up in Uganda, listening to Bobby Wine, his music is and has represented the plight of the people on multiple, uh, you know, and he's been consistent on with all his music. Um, and for me, uh, when Christopher Sharp, uh, the producer and co-director of this film, got in touch with me and said, you know, let's make this, I, 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 I felt honored and blessed to, to be present in Uganda to, to document this, this, you know, a, a time in history when uh, our country was dreaming for a different future. Um, yeah, and you know, I mean, Bobby at the point at the time had just gotten into parliament. He was literally speaking to my heart. He was saying the things I wanted to hear from a political leader. I had not voted at the time in 2017, and I was considering to vote in the next election because of what he was saying. And Bobby, meeting your wife Barbie, becoming a family man, that changed your life and perspective, didn't it? Oh yes, it did. Oh yes, it did. It made me a better person more responsible person, but also more vulnerable person. Yeah. And and Moses, this is a military regime we're dealing with. Was there safety concerns when you were shooting this documentary? I mean, there were attempts on Bobby's life. Yeah, there were multiple attempts on Bobby's life. In fact, uh, at one point, well, uh, as you see in the film, um, his driver was shot uh, and they thought that was Bobby in that seat and he had just been there a few minutes before his driver sat in the same seat and and was shot but that wasn't the end of it you know uh, there were multiple um, attempted assassinations on his life and they continue yesterday um, a gunman uh, with a concealed weapon was arrested um, well was uh, the people saw him and there was you know kind of a commotion and anyway the police came and took away the gun um, but left the gunman. And so there continues to be threats to his life. Uh, five days ago, he six days ago, he returned to Uganda and he was arrested on the tarmac of the, of the uh, just uh, actually literally picked out of the just airplane. Pulled off and, the plane. Yeah, literally pulled off the plane. And, you know, uh, it, it, it's, uh, this, this oppression continues. On Independence Day, his political party, the NUP, had organized a press conference and the leaders were locked up, you know, literally kidnapped, bundled into a, 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 a van, you know, locked up in prison. But um, again, uh, you know, the five years of making this film uh, where, of course, there was lots of threats, uh, you know, on myself as well, documenting the story. Um, and I currently don't live in Uganda anymore. I know uh, I, I had to flee the country. Uh, by the time we left the country, uh, they, I had been shot in the face at close range, uh, locked up in prison, interrogated, two um, attempted kidnaps of my wife, um, and we had to leave. Uh, but, you know, a lot of journalists and, and people around Bobby have paid the ultimate price 
you know. But this is why this film was very urgent. This is why the task was, was you know, it was more about the film itself, the story, than what was going on around me. Yeah. And Bobby, using your music to bring about political change, but that came at a price. It was eventually banned, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Um, although it came with a price, I must say music has been a very big factor in our struggle. Since we're communicating to young people who are very easily bored by the formal speeches and all that, our music has been a tool of communication in a massive way. No wonder it has been banned and many people have disappeared and others are in prison for just playing my music. So yeah, it has come with a cost but we continue to use music because we know it is very effective. And Bobby, you will run again. And uh, Moses, will you be there to document it? <laughs> I wish I, I, I could. In fact, I want to be in Uganda right now because, you know, again, the situation is ever more urgent right now today. I want to be right there uh, where the history is happening. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't. Um, yeah, but Bobby, he still continues to you know, to um, yeah, and end the fight. Sorry, you talked about me running. I cannot guarantee my running. We are trying to uh, connect with the world, to invite the world into our struggle so that our struggle can make sense. I wouldn't want to go through what I and the entire team went through in 2021 when we're going through that in the dark. We can fight against the dictator, but we cannot fight against the American dollars. We cannot fight against one billion US dollars every year that is given to the regime in Uganda. We cannot fight against the French tear gas and the, you know, the European guns. We cannot. So we are hoping that this film will communicate to the world about how helpful they are to the dictatorship and how much they are a blockage to our democracy. And maybe when that changes, everything will start changing. Well, Bobby Moses, congratulations on an amazing film. And I appreciate your time today. And Bobby, people power. Our, Our power. power. Our power, people power. People power. <laughs>